and kept uh, taking my bait over there into those lily pads. I finally hooked them over here. This looks like a little largemouth. Yep. Nice color on him, but he's really small. And he's actually barely even on the hook. He's surprised he hasn't fallen off. Let's see if I can do this and record it at the same time. <laughs> Trying to bite me. See how easily the hook came out? I can't believe he's fat little sucker. Using a guppy for bait this time. Looks like he's got an injury to his tail. Something else tried to eat him. Pretty little fish. And there he goes. It's up here under the roots. It's a good spot. In this little area here, uh, that's only the second bass I've caught. Both of them were out here under the lily pads. The other bass I caught happens to be my personal best. So I'm gonna keep fishing this little area here. All right, I just got a whole bunch of packages in from probably eBay. So I'm gonna open these up and see what they are. Should all be mostly fishing gear or maybe some aquarium equipment. Ah. Grub worm lures. These ought to work pretty well. They look pretty real. Uh, they're uh, from China. They got Chinese lettering on there. It says spider fisher, but I don't know. But these are good looking grub worms. Uh, they should probably work pretty well. Nothing else in there. It's this one. I'm not sure what this is or how they got my phone number. Let's see. My phone number's on there for some reason. That's weird. Oh, well. Anyway, these are some more uh, worm lures. They look black, maybe a reddish, but they're about three inches long. These ought to work pretty well, too, for some of the stuff. Another eBay purchase. See if there's anything else in there. All of these so far are from China. Which, on eBay, that's where I get most of my fishing gear because it's just so cheap. Get something for like 50 cents, free shipping. Spoon bait with a pink and white rooster tail looking feather on there. And a uh, just a traditional spinner bait, same color feather. It's got two spinners on it, rooster tail. This is supposed to be a live plant, but it is clearly plastic. Uh, all right. From Taiwan. Oh. This. I know exactly what this is, but.
Not sure what you can see there. It's a uh, telescopic bait casting rod, which I might have to go try out here in a little while. Doesn't want to come out of the plastic. There it is. It's got a nice little hook on it there. Real lightweight. Probably not very strong. Yep, this already broke off. As soon as it comes out of the package, this breaks off the cap, the end cap there. Uh, yeah, this is not a very high quality product, but eh, it was five dollars. I'm not gonna complain. Uh, the important thing is how well it holds up. This should be about six feet or so, one point eight meters, I think. It's a uh, Probably about five and a half feet, maybe a little shorter, or a little taller, longer. There we go. Brand name, telescopic rod, full size. Uh, real flimsy, but it's lightweight. Well, not, not a whole lot of action to it for something this flimsy. Uh, orange tip, should glow in the dark. Um, I'm gonna, I've got an old bait casting reel I'm going to try out on it. Got this antique bait casting reel from the 60s. Go ahead and put that on there. Reel might be a little bit heavy for the rod. It certainly is. But there we go. It's on there. I'm gonna go try it out. All right, the uh, telescoping rod seems to work fine. The reel's a little bit messed up on it, so I can't really test it out right. I'm gonna have to get another reel in a little bit. Uh, right now I'm trying out these uh, new worm lures. Uh, I've got it hooked a little funny right there, but I've already done a couple of test casts, and as soon as it hits the water, I'm getting bites. So uh, I'll uh, show you anything I catch on it. It seems to be working pretty well. I'm also going to try out the grub worms too. If you can see there, the other fish actually already bit it in half. So it's kind of hard to hook this one, this lure, but... Uh, the other fish bit it in half before I finally caught one. And this is the first one I've caught, so I'm gonna let him go and keep trying again. It seems to work with even half a lure, but you know. Oh well. I over the grub worm for a little while, but it wasn't really working out. So I switched back to the worm. This one's a pretty good size one, about eight inches. I uh, might, might take him home and eat him. Got another one a little bit smaller. Uh, this one I'm gonna take home, see if I can catch about 10 of these. Another good size one, it's a little bit smaller, but I uh, might add him to the lot. Alright, I came up the hill a little bit here, up by this root, tossed out under the tree, and almost instantly hit uh, what would have been my personal best bass. It was probably a couple inches bigger than my current personal best. But right when I got him right here, lifting him out of the water, he shook the hook out of his mouth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle nose pliers and uh, close the hook a little bit. That way uh, they won't get off so easily. I'm just going to uh, crimp it on there just a little bit, uh, point it inward some, and uh, they won't be able to get off as easy. I'm not sure if you can see the difference there from the last video, or the last image of it, but uh, I closed it in some. They shouldn't be able to shake it so easily, but we'll see. Alright, I'm down underneath the spillway over here. 
Uh, I catch a bunch of fish right out there in that area, but I'm also getting a bunch of bites up underneath the under the storm drain here. Uh, I already caught one pretty good sized bluegill out of there. I'm gonna keep trying for more. Hopefully I'll catch something big enough to eat. I also just saw the silhouette of something swim by going up in there, so that's where I'm gonna be fishing. Whatever it was, it's pretty big, probably about two feet, two and a half feet long. But I'll let you know if I catch anything under there. Not sure if you can see that right there, sticking out from the edge of that wall. Not very clear, but that snake's got to be five feet long. He's a... Came down here to fish and he poked his head out. Psst. There he goes. 